For much of this year, Donald Trump has faced four simultaneous prosecutions over allegations ranging from trying to cover up a hush money payment to porn star Stormy Daniels to attempting to overturn his 2020 election defeat. He pleaded not guilty to all charges and cast the prosecutions as politically motivated. So what happens now that he's won the U.S. election? Trump faced four charges in federal court in Washington. He was accused of spreading false claims of election fraud to try to block the collection and certification of votes following the 2020 election. He was also charged with unlawfully holding onto classified documents after his first term ended in 2021 and obstructing efforts by the U.S. government to retrieve the records. Is one of the most outrageous and vicious legal theories ever put forward in an American court of law. However, all charges were dismissed in July after U.S. Special Counsel Jack Smith, who led the federal prosecutions in that case, was found to have been improperly appointed to the role and did not have the authority to bring the case. Smith's team is appealing to the ruling. But Trump's vow to fire Smith immediately upon taking office likely signals the end of the case. In May, a New York jury found Trump guilty of falsifying business records tied to the Daniels payment. That makes him the first former U.S. president convicted of a felony. His sentencing is currently scheduled for November 26, before he's sworn in. Trump's lawyers are expected to ask Justice Juan Merchan to delay the sentencing in which he could face up to four years in prison. Merchan has already twice postponed Trump's sentencing. That was in part due to a July U.S. Supreme Court ruling finding that presidents have broad immunity from prosecution over their official acts. Based on the ruling, Trump argues the case should be dismissed. He has vowed to appeal his conviction once he's sentenced. Separately, his lawyers have asked the Second U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals to move the case to federal court. Such a move, if successful, could create new legal obstacles for the case. Last year, prosecutors in Georgia's Fulton County used state racketeering laws to charge Trump in an alleged conspiracy to reverse his defeat in the 2020 election. The election was a rigged election, a stolen election. Trump will not be able to end the prosecution, but his lawyer will seek to pause any activity related to him. They will argue that a president should not face the burden of a criminal prosecution while in office. Legal experts expect that the case against Trump will not progress while he remains in the White House. All in all, his U.S. presidential election victory essentially ends the criminal cases brought against him, that is, at least during his term in office.